world population continues to grow, the developing economies continue to mature and demand more energy, and those two factors together mean we'll double our energy demands in the next 35 years. To meet the global demands, all sources of energy will have to grow. However, fossil fuels is expected to remain the dominant source. Canada actually ranks as third in the world for oil reserves. Carmen Creek inside of that represents a safe and secure source of energy to meet the growing demands. Shell has been in the area since the early 50s when it first acquired heavy oil leases. Since that time, we've developed a number of drilling techniques to test out recovery methods, which have really led us to the point we are today where we think we now understand the reserve well enough to recover commercially. With our Carmen Creek project, we think we've found the answer to developing our Peace River resource in an economical, safe, and environmentally friendly way. We think this represents a real step forward in meeting some of the future energy demands. Here's the, overall plan. Start out over the Carmen Creek project will drill wells, build a facility to process the bitumen, recycle the water, and use the gas in an environmentally friendly way to generate electricity. A key component of the execution strategy is to build the plant as much as possible in modules. Modules are building blocks which we construct off-site within a controlled environment. This kind of environment allows us to have better control over the quality and efficiency of construction and most importantly the safety. The Carmen Creek project will peak at approximately 1,200 workers on site. So in order to minimize the impacts on the local infrastructure, we're building a world-class construction camp close to the site. 80% of the province's heavy oil is located underground and is too deep to be recovered by mining. It will be recovered by drilling wells using steam to recover it. The oil is found in a formation about 600 meters below the surface. In its natural state, it has the consistency of peanut butter. So to produce the oil, we inject steam into the reservoir. The steam then lightens the oil and we use a traditional pumping technique to bring it up to the surface. We will arrange the wells in a series of well pads. Each well pad will have about 48 wells. We've really shrunk those down to minimize the overall footprint. We drill them out and to cover a much larger area. When the early wells abandon, after about 10 years or so, we will reclaim that land back to nature and move the equipment to a new well pad. At any one time, we will disturb no more than 5% of the Carmen Creek development area. The goal of the reclamation process is to return the land to a point where people and wildlife would not know that Shell previously had facilities in that location. What you see here is a model of the Carmen Creek facilities. It will be one of the most modern and efficient plants in the industry. There are three areas of the process that are unique to the industry. Water treating, gas treating, and cogeneration. Use of water is one of the critical elements of the Carmen Creek project. All of the process water, which comes up from the reservoir, is recycled and reused to make steam to inject back into the reservoir. This means we need very little, if any, water from outside to produce the steam and make the bitumen. The second piece is we clean this water to distill water levels that make us one of the safest and cleanest facilities in the industry. The gas produced in the field contains hydrogen sulfide, often known as H2S. So in this part of the plant, we remove that H2S, pipe it away, and inject it deep underground. We then take the gas that it's come from and use that in the plant for fuel. Steam and electricity will be generated on site in our cogeneration facilities. We will have three separate cogeneration plants that will convert natural gas into clean electricity as well as using the waste heat and our recycled process water to create steam to inject underground. This cogeneration facility will provide enough electricity for half a million homes and emit roughly 65% less carbon dioxide than a coal-fired power plant. 
For projects on the scale of Carmen Creek, uh, it's important that we consult with the public, and that includes Aboriginal communities, to identify potential opportunities for them and ways for them to participate in the project and benefit from it. And we have to identify exactly how the project might impact them, and we have to look for ways to mitigate those impacts. As an example, we need to know when First Nations might be hunting in an area where the Carmen Creek project is going to further develop so that we can adjust our schedule and avoid that area for a period of time. On a project like this, it's really important that Shell has a positive working relationship with the community. Shell is giving back to the local community in a number of ways. Under our social investment program, we're making investments in education, training, workforce development, and in other areas of priority that the community has identified for us. My personal hope for Carmen Creek is we deliver a long-term project that provides sustainability and employment opportunities for the local region. During the construction phase, we'll have 1,200 people on site, but actually that's just the tip of the iceberg. To have those people on site require a large amount of support infrastructure, and we hope to get a large part of that from the local community. My hope for the project is that we achieve the world-class health and safety performance that we're looking for, and for me what that means is that not one person on our project gets hurt. I'm very excited to be part of the Carmen Creek Project. We're taking the first steps after many, many years of studying this resource, and we're on the verge of unlocking a very significant heavy oil resource for the benefit of the province, the nation, and the world.